Hello and welcome. The chapter job sequencing and now we are with new case processing and jobs on M machines. In this case M means more than 3 because we have already discussed the cases with 2 machines and 3 machines separately. Now what if there are 4 or more machines? We are solving the problems through Johnson's rule or Johnson's algorithm according to which the job having lowest time on machine 1 is preferred first that means it is placed on the left hand side in the sequencing schedule and the job having lowest time on the second machine is preferred at the last stage so it is placed on right hand side of the job sequencing schedule now here we have five machines how to use the algorithm to use the algorithm we should have two machines so we have to convert this data into a data having two machines only but before that we have to check whether some conditions are satisfied or not there are two conditions if any one of these two or both the conditions are satisfied then only we can convert this data into a data having two machines and then we can solve the problem through Johnson's algorithm so first of all let us check the conditions the important thing is first of all to check the conditions select the minimum time on machine 1 it is 5 minimum time similarly select the minimum time on the last machine machine mth machine And then select the maximum of all other machines except first and last. On second machine the highest is say 6. On the third machine the highest is 5 and on the fourth machine highest is 6. Now select highest among all these three. So it is 6. from machine 2 to machine M minus 1 select the highest time now we can check the conditions the conditions are similar as they were in the case of 3 machines minimum of M2 M1 rather minimum time on machine 1 what is it? it is 5 minimum time on machine 5 or last machine that is 6 and maximum time out of all machines except first and last that means maximum out of second third and fourth in this particular case and that is 6 now the first condition what is the first condition condition number 1 is minimum time on machine 1 should be greater than or equal to maximum time on machines 2 to machine M minus 1 that means minimum time on machine 1 should be greater than or equal to maximum time on out of all these 3 machines that is 6 let us check minimum time on machine 1 is 5 Maximum time on all these three machines is 6. 5 is not greater than 6. 5 is not equal to 6. So we can conclude that this condition is not satisfied. Because the minimum time on machine 1 is less than the maximum of all other except last. So we have to check the second condition. Minimum or time on the last machine should be greater than or equal to maximum time on all other machines except first. So what is the situation? Minimum time on the last machine is 6. Maximum on all these three also 6. 
is 6 greater than 6? No. But 6 is equal to 6. So we can conclude that this condition is satisfied. 6 is equal to 6. Minimum time on the last machine is exactly equal to the maximum time on all other machines except the first. So, now we can convert this data into a data having two machines only. How? Let us imagine only two machines. Let there be two machines x1 and x2 such that the time on x1 equals to time on x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 or say Should be m1 m1 plus m2 plus so on up to m m minus 1 and the time on x2 equals to time on m2 plus time on m3 plus so on plus time on m m in this case it will be m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus m4. In this case, this will be m2 plus m3 plus m4 plus m5. In this way, we can convert the data into a data with two machines. So now it will be something like this. Job A, B, C, B. Machine X1 the time will be 7 plus 5, 12 plus 2, 14 plus 3, 17. For B, it will be 6 plus 6, 12 plus 4, 16 plus 5, 21. For C, it will be 5 plus 4, 9 plus 5, 14 plus 6, 20. And for D, it will be 8 plus 3, 11 plus 3, 14 plus 2, 16. Similarly, for X2, the time will be summation of time on machine M2, M3, M4 and M5. 5 plus 2, 7 plus 3, 10 plus 9, 19. 6 plus 4, 10 plus 5, 15 plus 10, 25. 4 plus 5, 9 plus 6, 15 plus 8, 23. 3 plus 3, 6 plus 2, 8 plus 6, 14. So now, this is the data as if there are only two machines and four jobs are to be done on them. Now job sequencing. What to do? What is the minimum time? Minimum time is 14 that is on second machine so job D will be placed on the right hand side D will be performed or done at the last stage remaining 3 the minimum time is 17 it is on first machine so A will be placed on left hand side A will be done first remaining 2 machines the lowest time is 20 that is on first machine so C will be placed on left hand side and last B will be placed on the third place. So our job sequence, our preferred job sequencing order is A, C, B, D. Job A will be done first, then C, then B and then D. So this was part one of the solution. In this case we are solving a problem having four jobs to be done on five machines. First of all, we checked the two conditions. Minimum time on machine 1 should be greater than or equal to maximum time on all other machines except the last. The condition is not satisfied. Second condition is minimum time on last machine should be greater than or equal to 
maximum or highest time on all other machines except first that condition is satisfied because minimum time on last machine is 6 and highest time on all other machines except first is also 6 so the condition is satisfied and hence we converted the data into a data having only two machines we imagined two machines x1 and x2 such that the time on x1 is the summation of time on all machines except the last and similarly the time on x2 is the summation of time on all machines except the first and according to Johnson's rule we decide at the preference order or job sequencing and we are going to do job A first then C then B and then D that's it in the next part of the solution of the similar problem we are going to prepare the statement or schedule of minimum total time elapsed then idle time that's it thank you